The Martinsville Candy Kitchen looks to Valentine's Day to keep its business going. WTIU's Katie Coyle reports on how the sales during this season affect the rest of the candy store's year. Holiday seasons are big for the Martinsville Candy Kitchen, but since the recession, the store has had to rely even more on February sales to fund its operations for the rest of the year. We heard it was for sale in 2004, and we didn't want to see it close, so we met with the people that owned it. Unfortunately, store owner John Badger thinks he may have to raise the price of candy canes to make more of a profit and keep the business running. It'll be the first time in five years that we've raised the price probably, but it's just the sugar and the corn syrup and everything has gone up, so we have to, have to, have to make a profit or we we'll end up closing the store. So The couple employs just two other family members, a sweetener for the local economy. But if business sours, John, Pam, and the rest of the family will have to go elsewhere for their holiday cheer. For WTIU News, I'm Katie Coyle.